the calm after the storm. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Abdullah here coming at you with another video for the channel, and welcome back to the DME Sports Zone. And today, guys, I'm coming at you with a video that I'm pretty sure was not ne really necessary, especially at a time like this. Washington Commanders, they owe us fans an apology. Before I get into this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content. I try to push out as much fire content out there as possible. And let's get straight to the video. Yesterday was embarrassing. That, that word just sums up everything. But before I go into yesterday's performance, the reason why this team owes us fans an apology, <sighs> every single year as fans, we bite into this or we sip the Kool-Aid of this team somewhat being a playoff team or even winning a playoff game. And every year they let us down. And yesterday's live stream, I'm not going to lie, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I really wanted to rant a lot, but I just didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to come off, you know, angry and stuff because we had to, we had to do, it was like a 25, 30 minute live stream, Nadia had to go, so I didn't want to take up too much of his time, but this, this game was embarrassing, and this organization as a whole is just the laughing stock of the NFL, I think we can finally say that, as, as great as our history is, past 30 years have just completely taken over this team's history i mean talk about a dysfunctional abhorrent franchise owned by a man named dan schneider who i'm not even going to get into because i've already had my fair share of rants on dan schneider on this channel and i think just for my sake no more of that but coach ron rivera i love the man we met him in person had a great conversation with him great human being the whole him dealing with cancer, fighting that adversity, first place in NFC East his first year, seven and nine. I love him, but as a football coach, this man does not know what he's doing, and it it sucks a lot. It sucks because when we look at his press conferences, he he answers questions like he's Bill Belichick, but he's not winning on the field. So it's just it's very concerning. This roster just is lackluster. There's like there's literally nothing that we did this offseason to improve to improve positions in need. Andrew Norwell, Trey Turner, guards that are like we had Eric Flowers. We we could have signed Brandon Sheriff and Trey Turner and my I mean, dude, these guys like what is it, besides them being former Panthers, what makes them stand out? I think Turner was a pro ball or no and Norwell, Andrew Norwell was but but again, like this offensive line is just putrid. Putrid. Nine sacks yesterday. Six the week before against Detroit. But no, no, this is Ron what is Ron Rivera's plan? You guys tell me because I clearly don't know. I don't know. Obviously, what we're doing, you know, we're not as the drama off the field has been decreasing. That's great to see. But if we're not winning on the field, what the hell does it... Why did all that matter? Why? Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. You get guys like Wild Goose, Richard Wild Goose. You sign him and start... Like, we have... There's experienced guys out there in the league. We, 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 we step back from all what the other, other teams are doing and be aggressive in the, in the offseason. And we just... Don't draft positions in need. Don't go. Don't uh, throw money out there in need because we made mistakes in the past. Screw it. We made mistakes in the past. Okay, obviously now learn from it. But now we're just being so passive, and it's just so frustrating when we see the Eagles just stack up in the, during this off season. The Giants, who get this whole new culture they're having, the Cowboys just only they just always kick our butts, and we just stand back and let it happen. It's annoying. It's Ron Rivera's third year. Where is this plan? This was the year that something was gonna happen. I, I maybe something happens, that, but, but this it's it's frustrating. And us fans, we fall for it every time. You want to know why there's no Commanders fans at the state? Yesterday, the Eagles, there were so many Eagles fans there, and rightfully so, because of the product on the field. The product on the field is terrible. And they expect us fans to go watch that? Spend our hard-earned money on that? Come on, man. This team is embarrassing for the past 30 years. And... I know I, all you guys want this. You want Scott Turner gone. You want Jack Del Rio gone. You want Ron Rivera gone. Clearhouse. But then the next bozo 
It's just gonna be a cycle, an inevitable cycle, which I still think will always be occurring when Dan is owner. Dan, I don't know when he's ever gonna sell the team. That's out of the question. I don't want to talk about that. I can make a whole 60 minute video on why Dan Schneider needs to sell this team, but Ron Rivera, man, this this like the, the the coaching, the, the the you're literally you're not play calling, you're just coaching. And yesterday, the, the challenge that we didn't get off in time really made me upset because we've seen it where he challenges plays that are clearly not worth being challenged for. But yesterday, Devontae Smith clearly isn't a catch. It clearly isn't. And he decides to throw the flag late. Why are you waiting? Why? That's a 40. That's a huge play. And we're acting like it was just a 10-yard completion. It wasn't. The Eagles had to run, run all the way from that original play to that where the ball was caught and hiked the ball. And Ron couldn't throw the flag in between that time period? Are you kidding me? That's such a Washington thing. Scott Turner. You clearly see your quarterback is flustered and we still a five-step drop back when there was no protection at all. Throw some quick passes. The, the BS scream fake one way to the other. It just doesn't work. The run game was working yesterday, and you shied away from it. He's clearly not worth an offensive coordinator. Jack Lurio, okay, the defense was all right yesterday. I'll, I'll give him that. But again, the comments you made this offseason, the game has moved on, man, for these guys. For Ron and Jack. For Scott, I mean, I just don't think he's worthy of being offensive coordinator. You move on, man. This is the one thing that Panthers fans said was a problem with Coach Rivera. When we hired him, he's too loyal to his guys, and he's too loyal to Scott Turner and Jack Del Rio. Sometimes you just gotta put your ego aside and say, "Hey, this man is not worthy. We gotta get someone who's gonna put us put us in a position to win." And just it sucks so much because we, us fans, we don't deserve this. We don't. We put up this BS every single year, seven, eight wins. At most average, but always below average. This team is just the laughing stock of the NFL. It really is. Nothing much else. At one point yesterday, I know you guys saw the stat line. Negative one passing yards in the third quarter where Philly had like 300. That is embarrassing. I, I, that's some high school football type stuff. At one point, we had... They were showing us, uh, they, were, they were putting up uh, the stat of how many yards Devontae Smith had, which was like run 50, and how many total yards we had, which was like 50. Oh my God, that is degrading. That's, and it, I, I wanted to turn off that game yesterday. It was just, I, I don't know what the hell I was watching. But, you know, as a loyal fan as I am, I want to put out this content out there. But man, dude, this, this organization, like I said in this title of the video, and I'll keep saying it, they always, they always, they always, us, blah. Can't even talk right now because I'm so frustrated. They owe us fans an apology for the product out there on the field and still buying merchandise and making videos about them. It's embarrassing. Guys like David Mayo out there. You drafted Jamin Davis. Don't want to put him out there on a crucial third down. Jack Do uh, Jack Do Kendall Fuller getting cooked. Ben St. Juice celebrating when we're down by like 20. Although he had a solid game. Guys getting mossed out there, looking lost. It's just all these things add up. And just overall, you get the Washington Commanders. Washington Commanders, Washington football team, Washington Redskins. It's the same thing, different year. Change the name, change the uniforms. Change the uniforms to the Carolina Panthers uniforms, that colorway. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. And I'm a young fan. I've never seen this team succeed. And I can't imagine what all these other older guys are going through. But from what I've seen and my 20 years or almost 20 years, November 27th is my birthday, of living on this planet Earth, this team is garbage, top to bottom. And I don't know what they do. I honestly don't know. So many high hopes this offseason. I really said 9 and 8 or 10 and 7. I, I can't believe it. I know it's early in the season, but man, dude, some things just don't change. And for this team... Dysfunction is just a common theme here. Dysfunctional. I don't know why I said dysfunction. But 
the point I'm trying to make is the only way to go from here is up. There's no way we can put ourselves deep, deeper digger hole. But maybe we, we, we're, we're the Washington. We're the Wash. We're the team from Washington. So, oh, I didn't even bring this up. A couple weeks ago, I saw that the, the team was selling mugs that had the W logo on it, and it had the Washington State on it, and they were selling it this for the command. I was flabbergasted. That is such a commander's thing to do. And then I saw the pipes were burst again at FedEx Field. You know what? I think I've ranted enough for today. Guys, just don't expect anything from this team. Don't ever hype this team up. We can always clown on other teams, but know deep down that we're always the clown in the room. And all of the 32 NFL teams, we are the laughing stock in the league. And it's safe to say that. With that being said, guys, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content. I try to push out as much fire content out there as possible. Just support us. We're doing our best to make content for this team, even though week in and week out, they disappoint us. Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, at DMV Sports Zone. With that being said, I'm out. I don't know what they're going to do this offseason, but Coach Ron needs to go. And if he goes, they're probably going to clear house, clean house. I don't know. It sucks, man. It really sucks supporting this team. All right, guys. Peace.